this is Isha here from Isha's Crafty Side and I welcome you all for the fourth episode of DIY wedding series and uh, there are uh, we have done three episodes till now and there will be one more coming up um, so I just wanted to let you all know that there's a giveaway going on so if you want to enter into that uh, all the information regarding the giveaway will be in the description box below so please do check that out and uh, today uh, for today's project i have a, a very quick tutorial for you all for the wedding favors and i really hope you all enjoy this so for um the wedding favors today um we are going to need very very inexpensive things uh, because I really believe uh, for the favors, the most important thing is the budget, you know, because um, uh, there are like a lot of people to whom you would like to give favors, like all the guests who have come to the wedding. So um, the favors always should be on a budget. And if you are going to do some DIY uh, favors, then they should be pretty simple and quick to make and yet elegant, you know, to... Uh, for your guests to give a good impression or remember so uh, I have thought of uh, you know that type of favor so what we gonna um, do is that we are going to take this bottle these are some of the uh, water bottles and uh, these uh, usually everybody has this will be like a recycling project and this is for free so i thought that uh, this is pretty cool right so okay so what we're gonna do is uh, you have to take a bottle and then you need a craft knife and what i'm gonna do is i am just gonna measure it um quickly for you all so i'm gonna make i'm gonna cut it at around um one and one and a quarter in, I mean sorry one and seven eighth of an inch so I'm just you know I'm gonna make all the favors from these bottles so I know that I'm gonna cut from the third rim over here so I just make a cut over here with the crack knife to start with okay so uh, it's pretty easy okay so that that's the cut there and then I take my scissors and cut it all through all around like that so that's the um, base cut out okay so you get a cup shape over here and then to just even out all the cuts you can cut it on the top and you know just see that everything is even and also you would want um, nothing uh, you know no, not a single of the plastic sticking out so that it would be hurting anything anybody so yeah I'm just making it into the even sides okay so that's the base you get from which we're gonna make the favor basket and then we are gonna need some uh, jewelry wire okay okay guys so here is the jewelry wire uh, I think this is 28 gauge and I am roughly going to measure how long or how tall I want my handle to be like that and so I think this is pretty neat so I will just cut a bit of excess then I need uh, for the handle because we need uh, to tuck it inside on both the sides so we need a bit of extra and then I take my crocodile and make a hole on one side like that I use the rim uh, as a guide okay and exactly at the opposite side you know just when you just hold it like that you will know where uh, exact opposite side is and then we can make another hole over here so you get two holes and then we're gonna 
put this jewelry wire inside okay so before putting the jewelry wire I am I'm, I'm just uh, going to embellish this part the whole basket so okay so to embellish this basket uh, what I have used is I have used this beautiful cotton crochet um, lace from Gonati and I have purposely choose this lace because it's really very very broad and it is in a very uh, you know very nice price it's under two dollars per yard and you know uh, from as I said that you have to be on a budget to make your favor so I, I have you know made one basket and I have found out that from a yard you can definitely make uh, or embellish six baskets I mean you can do more depending on the size of the bottle you take but if you take the size of bottle the mini ones um, then definitely you can make six to seven baskets right so uh, you know I have uh, uh, already made uh, one basket as a sampler to show you all using this beautiful lace so this is the basket see isn't it pretty neat and so so darling I so love it you know it's so pretty so I use that lace to cover up the basket all around okay and so this is in a cream color and i have also used this uh, rose pearl cord from uh Deb store itself and this is also in a very very good price so this is also under one dollar fifty cents per yard so this is also you know perfect to use uh, to embellish your um favors okay so i use that for the handle around here okay but for now, um, I have decided to use uh, some pink shabby color. So what did I do was I avocado dyed this lace and see, look at the color. It's so, so pretty, right? So if you, if I keep this and this, you will know the difference. It looks so pretty, right? So I just avocado dyed this and now uh, we will, before putting the jewelry wire, we will embellish this. We'll use this all around. And I'm going to start it from the back side. So just use a bit of hard glue. And place it this way. And then I use the hard glue on the top first. So that... I can arrange the whole trim, you know, at the top in an even way, like that. And you have to be a bit fast, you know, and uh, because this is like a plastic bottle, so it might burn. So you have to be quick in putting up the lace so that the heat is being soaked up by the lace itself okay so that's there and then I just put some dab of glue at different parts not everywhere to stick the bottom of the lace like this you know and I'll place it on the top put that there and place it on the top so yeah that's there so once this is done uh, I find out the holes we had created for the handles this and then I put it through uh, bring it up and twist it like that and let it and fold the end inside like this see this way so it doesn't hurt and then we will put the another thing over here and again twist it inside so that is your handle already okay and now I will use this uh, rose pearl cord around 
the jewelry wire starting from here where you can see the end okay so I just use my hot glue gun to put it on the top and you have to be sure when using this cord that uh, the rose side comes up you know because the other side also looks pretty but it has knots okay so that's the wrong side and this side where you can see the roses is the right side okay so this is the finished basket and it looks so so darling and this is the pink one and this is the cream one okay so what did i do was that over here making this basket i used the two rows and for this i used only a single row and i thought that single row is also fine you know if you want to you know uh, save your trims you can do this also because we are gonna put some goodies inside like uh, this I will just show you I used uh, this beautiful uh, lace fabric I have in my stash I will show you this also so this is in pure white color and what did I do was that I just cut out a square out of it and then I used some of my Hershey kisses um, as the favors and uh, I just filled it in like that. So what did I do was I see this is white, this is avocado dyed, the same fabric see you can see the color difference and so this I'm gonna place in this cream basket like that see so it's gonna look so pretty and for this pink basket I decided to have a cream color of this fabric so I just coffee dyed the fabric see so this is the coffee dyed one so you can see the color difference this is the white one the original one the coffee dyed one and this one is the avocado dyed one isn't it so pretty so yeah I did that and now I will show you what did I do I just uh, put it down like that and then I will take some of the Hershey pieces okay. Okay. oops okay that's enough And then uh, I take a rubber band I'm sorry I don't have a cream color so you can take a matching color one I just bundle this up like that Mom? and try if this fits in the basket perfect and I think this is uh, fitting in nice so otherwise you can add more okay so that's there and then just use the rubber band around it to hold it okay so there you go I put the rubber band like that I just open this up to look more pretty and then to cover the rubber band up I'm going to use some seam binding and this seam binding also you can get from Gonatsi. So I'm going to use cream for this one. And you can also tie it up with the seam binding itself. But you know, um, for me I think if you uh, tie it up first with a rubber band, it's it keeps it secure. Okay, so then you just tie a beautiful bow on it like that and just gonna make a teeny tiny pretty bow that way just play around and get the bow right and if you want you can cut down the ends also Yeah, 
so you have your favorite ready and we're gonna put this inside the basket and let this fabric just flow out like that and this is how it's gonna look see so uh you know if you don't uh use the lace all around you can still see the fabric uh you know over which you have placed inside so it's gonna it's not it's gonna look pretty neat okay so yeah that's it for the favor basket and for this one as you saw we use this gorgeous pink colored fabric so see this is a bit smaller basket and that's a bigger one so of course you can cut a bigger one like this one and use all the two rows so and then for this one also i'm going to use the seam binding which is in this beautiful pretty pink color exactly matching with this and that carries the seam binding in all colors all possible colors you could think of and i think who would not like to have a seam binding and it's in very very nice price so you should definitely stock up your seam binding from gone at sea <laughs> You know, because we use it a lot, right? On the mini albums and tags and whatnot. <laughs> so, that's it. So, that's the bow there. And I'm going to place it inside. Okay. And yes, um, uh, I have used this beautiful uh, pearl over here. Uh, this is the flatback flower garland uh, from gonatsi so which is here so i just cut out uh, two flowers from this oops sorry That's okay. and then we use it over here to cover up the ends it's not necessary to do it but i did it just to give it a finished look so we're gonna add one flower there and another flower over here my daughter is here playing and i'm sorry about all the noise she's making okay so yeah those are the pretty pretty baskets for the favors the wedding favors you can make and this could also be used for um the bridal shower parties also so and um, it's in budget you know it's a recycling project so i hope and it's pretty pretty simple to make so i hope you all try it and i hope you all like the tutorial which i did for you do let me know what you all think uh, and i will talk to you soon with the fifth episode of diy wedding series and don't forget to enter the giveaway the details will be in the description box so please do check it you just have to like and comment it on this video and you have to be my subscriber to enter okay guys and the price is 25 dollar of gift certificate from gonatsi store so stay tuned for the pictures coming up that's it for today from my side see you all guys later with a new crafty project bye now love you guys